Eugene? What story should I tell next? Hmm, let me think about that. I want the story about the sheep, the farmer, and the rabbit. You mean the sneaky rabbit? Yes, that story. Well, why do you want that story? Because of the beautiful sheep in the story is just like me. Like you, Eugene? Uh-huh. Well, there is a beautiful sheep in the story, but I don't know if I say she's just like you. Maybe if you ever brushed your hair. Humph! Eugene, may I tell the story now? Yes. Why don't you just sit right over here while I tell the story? There once was a farmer, and he wanted to add to his flock of sheep another one. But he didn't just want any sheep. He wanted a beautiful sheep, a fabulous sheep, an exquisite sheep. So he saved his money and saved and saved. And when he finally had enough, he put the money in his pocket and walked a couple miles down the road to a neighboring sheep farmer. He asked to look at the sheep for sale, and he looked and he looked and he looked at them all. Finally, he said, I'll take that one. And he did. He paid that farmer the money and then put a leash on that sheep and the two started to walk on home. They hadn't gone very far when a rabbit peeked out from behind a bush. The rabbit looked at that sheep. It's a mighty farm looking sheep there. I like that sheep. I want that sheep. I'm going to get me that sheep. And so the rabbit ran ahead of the farmer and the sheep. And then he took off his left shoe, put it in the middle of the road, and then went and hid in the bushes. Well, a few minutes later, the farmer and the sheep came upon that shoe. The farmer stopped. He looked at that shoe. Mighty nice-looking shoe there. I could use a new pair of shoes. I wonder where the match is. And so he looked to his left. He looked to his right. He looked up. I don't know why he looked up, but no matching shoe. Aw, oh, shucks. Well, I guess I need to head on home with my sheep. And so he continued on home. Well, as soon as the farmer and the sheep were out of sight, that rabbit came out of the bushes, put his left shoe back on, and then sprinted ahead of the farmer and the sheep again. This time, he took off his right shoe, left it in the middle of the road, and went and hid in the bushes. Well, a few minutes later, the farmer and the sheep came upon the second shoe. The farmer stopped. He looked at that shoe. That's a match to the shoe way back there. It's just my size. I really, really could use a new pair of shoes, especially for free. I think I'll go back and get that other shoe. And so he took his sheep and tied it to a tree on the side of the road. Then he picked up the shoe and put it near the sheep. Not so close that the sheep might eat it. And then the farmer walked on back. As soon as the farmer was out of sight, that rabbit came out of the bushes. He put his right shoe on, he untied that sheep, and he took the sheep home to his rabbit hole. Well, when the farmer got back to where the shoe had been, it was gone. He looked to his left, he looked to his right, he looked up. Don't ask me why he looked up, but no shoe. Drats! I wanted that new pair of shoes, but oh well. And so, he went on back to where he had left his sheep. But when he got back there, not only was the sheep gone, but the shoe. He looked to his left, he looked to his right, he looked up. Don't ask me why. No sheep, no shoe. <sighs> I've been tricked, said the farmer. What a fool I was. And you know what? He was a fool. 
Don't ever risk losing something precious on the chance of getting something free. Now, Eugene, what'd you think of the story? I liked it, especially because of the beautiful sheep that's just like me. Well, I'll disagree with you on the beautiful sheep part being like you, but that's okay. Good. Well, maybe good. Anyway, can I go take a nap? Yes, yes you may. Goodbye, Eugene.